Hey everybody, uh, we're going to do this video again. You don't know this, but uh, I just recorded the video, uploaded it, uh, and it had no audio in it whatsoever until I finished the video I hadn't realised. So we're going to go again, and we are going to be reopening the opening of Dice Summoners from Decking Awesome Games. Uh, yes. I'm not even going to play around with the cameras. I'm just going to keep it on this one, keep it simple, talk to you guys, and go through it. So imagine this had cellophane on it for instance and i've just taken it off so this is it we'll start anyway shall we this is dice summoners uh from decking awesome games it was something i played at kickstarter last year uh with my sons sorry at uk games expo last year uh with my sons and we loved it and we would have bought it there and then at that stall but it turned out that the game wasn't available yet and it was going to be on kickstarter uh left it at that didn't think anything of it it then did appear on kickstarter so we backed it it wasn't very expensive. I can't remember exactly how much, but it was you know, less than £30. I'm pretty sure it was like £25 for the box. Um, and yeah, here we are almost a year later, and we have the game. So let's go through it and uh, open it up. Uh, it's a really nice box art on the front. I can sort of get it on the camera for you. They fit. Oh, hang on, I'm not getting my... Here we go, over here, over here. I really like the uh, kind of the style of it and the, the artwork. For me, it's very sort of... You know, 80s cartoon, Dungeons and Dragons, He-Man type, type style. Really nice. All the way around. So yes, I have already opened this, and therefore I have already done things like card sleeve the cards. Because I did that while the video was uploading, thinking, oh, I can just crack on with it now. So I have seen what's in here, but you guys are going to get to see it for the first time anyway. So inside, the top of the pot, there is a Dice Summoner's rulebook. Now, to give you a quick overview of the game... Uh, what it is, is essentially a uh, card game with dice, and you're using dice to generate your power as this dice summoner, and then using that power to summon creatures. And you can, and you can use it for spells and all sorts of other things as well, but you're essentially creating a, a force to then fight against your opponent, and they're doing the same thing. Uh, you know, reduce your enemies to life to zero. So think of games like sort of Magic the Gathering and other type of card games like that with the element of rolling dice in there and act to bring these creatures on board. And then the more creatures we've got, the more dice you're generating, therefore the bigger the monsters you can bring out later, or the more spells you can cast. So a combination of all of that. So, you know, I think that, that really works really well. And certainly when we played it, you know, I went for a strategy of like just lots of minions, lots and lots of minions, where my son went for the wait for it, you know, tactics build something a bit bigger you know take take the hits and, and then kill me in the end game which he did like which he does a lot of so let's get back to this so dice summoner's book as you'd expect nice and thin rule but i didn't think that the rules were that complicated to it we're going to do a let's play of this soon anyway so you can jump into it but again more lovely artwork in there it's one of those games where you know it's better to play a couple of rounds than to try and just learn all of the rules. Uh, when I did open the box originally there were these two things they were just kind of token I don't actually know what this token's for but it was in the packaging when I opened it rather than being in the actual core box of course it is now in the core box because I put it in there but maybe that's for flipping stuff. I haven't read the rules to see what part I use. These are also I think Kickstarter exclusives uh, these two little wizardy meeple see them there so to keep the camera keeps jumping for a sec, hopefully you can you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, two little meat boys stand up. What I'm probably going to do is actually, I've got a load of extra miniatures. I might paint up two wizards to keep in the box. You've then got um, these, which are the life trackers. I'll show you what they're for, for in a minute, but simply they are just to put on the board. Got a whole bunch of, and these all came in a um, card you had to punch out. So these are all like shield markers. So you're different creatures, and that will give you different shields for you to take damage uh, without taking damage to your life. So that's what they are, a whole bunch of tokens. They were in card, I punched them all out as again, because I've already done the original unboxing video. I then thought, hey, I can get the game out and start playing. Then realized the video hadn't worked. So uh, these are your life trackers. So, you know, 30 hit points, and then you simply use your little black uh, markers here to, to mark how much life you're on all made out a really nice card good quality you know it's not thin it's gonna last a long time 
Uh, then on to dice. Uh, these dice are lovely dice. I have, well, like I said, I already have them out. So I'll just get a couple out to show you. When we played this at Eager Games Expo, they were dice with sticky white labels on them. They are now sort of two-tone. Let me turn that, that flat. Look, lighting's a bit bright. That's a bit too dark. One second. Let's find a happy medium. There we go. So, yeah, these were the dice. And before they were dice with sticky white labels on. They're now two-tone, black and blue, and then sort of embossed. Um, yeah, symbols. And all the symbols mean something different. And then you get, and the blue dice are kind of your basic dice, and then you get your more advanced dice, which are your red dice. And again, you can see there. Lovely looking dice. And they roll pretty nicely. So, yeah, they're your more sort of advanced ones when you're summoning your more big creatures. Then you've got a whole load of cards. Now, I have already been through and sleeved all of these, they didn't come sleeved, they just use standard. Uh, card size sleeves. Um, the first two are the reference cards. So this is all of your what do all the symbols mean, and then what's your turn order. So you give one of them to your opponent, and away you go, playing the game very quickly. And then you've got things like uh, spell cards. So there's lots of different spells here. Nice artwork, nice and simple to read. The shield and the wall do different things, cost different amounts to cast, etc. You've then got, if I go from the road, loads and loads of those cards. You've then got some sort of spells. So you've got like a lifesteal spell. You've got a defend spell there. So it's not just summoning creatures, it's also you're then using spells to protect yourself. Uh, not sure what these are. These say. Uh, these are like, I think they're because they're purples, they're pretty much like epic things. So this sort of, uh, yeah, Chimera. Sort of big bad gribblies. You've then got these cards. Now these, I hadn't, I can't remember using these. So these might have been something added to the game afterwards. But they're that kind of rotation card where it says, yeah, rotate to the left. And you have different abilities as you rotate the card. Now I can't remember using those. I probably did. Like I said, it was over a year ago since I played the game. Uh, and then the other set is the monster card. So you have green, which is kind of like your low end monsters. So they have this kind of green symbol on the back. It's like a sort of you know, skull, a goat's skull head. Uh, and then, so I can show you some of those because you want to see some of the pictures. Like I said, the artwork's really cool. So a whole bunch of those. Really nice. I'm dead. I know the camera is jerking a little bit for some reason. I'm using it wirelessly, so that might be why. Um, but hopefully, you're getting the you're getting the gist of it. Something had to go wrong. It's the second time I'm doing the video, so surely it's not going to go nicely for me. Uh, and then here's some of the sort of greater demons. So these have a red back to them bit more nastier looking but again the artwork I think is fantastic Chimera again whatever the, I don't know what's what is this this is the Lothiathian try and say that word of course you're seeing these backwards I'm afraid folk but try, is even a triceratops who can play it having a triceratops yeah, so yeah, not only sort of mystical creatures but dinosaurs as well. That's why my I think it's great to play with kids. My my kids were instantly thinking it was cool that they could summon all these monsters. And I think there's epic monsters in here as well. Which actually, I think I might have shown you those. Let me just go through and check. Yeah, that's all the red ones. There were some purple ones. I'm sure there were some purple back ones. Let me just check. What I'll try and do is I'll get a let's play up of this maybe tomorrow. There we go, here's a purple one. Let's have a look at this guy. So this is Galva. Looks like some sort of summy angel thing. And there you go. So it shows you there that if you use two dice with the uh, triangle and cross symbol on it, which is uh, so this symbol here. So if you roll your red dice and you happen to get two of those symbols, you can use her ability to heal for seven. 
or if you've only got one of those symbols, you can use an ability to give yourself five down, five um, shield. So a very defense type character, which is nice. Because you need, you need a mixture of both. So again, you're rolling dice to generate this pool of power, and then based on your abilities, your, your creature's abilities, then using those and you know, defending, attacking, you know, because there's definitely going to be damage incoming, and you've got to defend, you've also got to attack back. You can't just survive forever on defense. So, yeah, that's pretty much the table. Uh, it's really nice. I'm really looking forward to getting the game with tomorrow. My son's excited, so I'm glad I've now sleeved it all. Uh, so, you know, keep the cards protected. I'd recommend doing that same. Uh, and that's it. That is Dark Summoners from Decking Awesome Games. So apologies that video is probably not as good as the original one where I actually did the unboxing for real and opened everything for the first time. Uh, but that's that's life, I guess. Um, I've shown you the game. All the components are really good quality. Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever. It, you know, I do, I wasn't. This wasn't one I was following closely on Kickstarter and thinking about it was going to be delayed. The guys have delivered it, and I'm really happy with it. I know they're at the next UK Games Expo, so I'll definitely pop past and say hello and say how much we're enjoying it. I'm going to try and do a Let's Play maybe tomorrow. If you're interested in that, give me a subscribe and it'll come up in your channel when it's on. When it's on. Or just give me a like. And if you want to see more, I'll stick links in below for Twitch streaming. Uh, in my other videos, I've done other unboxings, Let's Plays of video games and board games, etc. Uh, this is this is the Hobby Lodge. You're, you're welcome to come and join anytime and say hello. Um, Thanks very much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Now let's see if this video works. See you later.